Okay, welcome, welcome to our YouTube uh, channel, Francine Rachel. Karibu sana, karibu kwa YouTube channel yetu, Francine Rachel. Tunawapenda sana na mungu wa sifiwe. Karibu tena mtumishu wa mungu kwa yes. YouTube channel yetu. Na karibu na neno la mungu. Amen. Tunaenda kwanza na kumshukuru mungu. Yes. Acha tuombe. Baba, tunasema ni asante. Tunakushukuru sana tena kwa siku ya leo. Tunakushukuru kwa kutuwezesha tena na kutupea muda ili tuende kupartaje neno lako. Bwana ututumie kadiri upendavyo wewe. Weka neno lako ndani mwetu ili tulitoche kadiri upendavyo wewe. Na yoyote atakai kwenda kulisikiza Bwana ongea na moyo wake. Sema neno kwa ajili ya moyo wake katika jina lako Yesu lenye nguvu na uwezo. Tunaomba na kuamini. Amen. amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen, amen. Tunashukuru tena kupata nafasi mbele zenu leo. We thank God to be here again today. Tunakuja tena kwa neno ambalo huwa tunafundisha. Tungali tunafundisha tafika wakati tunaanza ubiri pia. We are still teaching but there is a time that we are going to preach. Kwa sababu mafundisho ni ya muhimu sana especially kwa kujenga. Because teaching is very good to build your heart. Yes, na wiki liopita tuliongea juu ya agano. And last week we were speaking about the covenant. Na katika agano tulisema ili agano ili agano kuna kwa vitu tatu ni must ni lazima. Hadi njoo kinafanya agano iwe agano. And we said that for the covenant to be there you have to have those three things. Tukasema ya kwanza ni kukubaliana. And we say the first one you have to accept each other. Ya pili ni kukue sheria ama maneno nafunga iyo kukubaliana. And we say the second one we, you, you have, we have to have a, a law that covers the, the acceptance. Na ya tatu ni alama. And the third one they must have a sign. Hakuta kuwaka agano enye ayenezi zi condition. They will never have a covenant without this con this condition. Shetani, if you do a covenant with Satan, you will have this three na mungu, If you do it with God, you have to have this three points. Na mutu na mutu, lazima if you do the covenant with someone, you have to have this three points. Lakini shida mwa tukona wa Kristo, ikibidi Kristo afanya agano na mungu, ayanezi zi point. Na napenda but ukwane. as a Christian, when we want to do covenant with God, we don't have to go this process. Na wiki liopita tukaonesha kwamba agano gani yenye Mungu alifanya na taifa la Israel. And last week we show a covenant that God made with Israelites people. Na leo tutafanya tutaonesha agano ya Mungu ya mtu na mtu. Maana yake tunaonesha sasa wewe na Mungu unaweza kufanya lakini tutaonesha kwanza mfano kwa Biblia. And today we are going to show the covenant with a person with God. Yes. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen, amen. Na katika kuleta mfano ndani ya Biblia tutaanza na agano ya kwanza inaitwa agano ya Noeti kama agano ya, no, ya Noa. Agano yenye Mungu alifanya na Noa. And uh, for the first covenant we are going to show the covenant that God made with Noah. Yes, Noa alikuwa ni mtu wa kwanza li, alianza fanya agano ya mtu na Mungu. And him he was the first person who made the covenant a person with God. Yes, acha tusome kitabu cha mwanzo tisa, tunasoma nane mpaka kumi na saba. We are going to read the Genesis 8 up to 17. Yes, atu, tutakuwa na kamata yu mafasi ya maana, njoo tunayenda nasoma. Amen. Inasema hivi, nane, Die di alor anowe, e asefi, je vous fe ine promes, ensi kavo desanda. Amen. Et à tous ceux qui vivent autour de vous, oiseaux, animaux, domestiques ou sauvages, ceux qui sont sortis de l'arche et si tous ceux qui vivront à l'univers sur la terre. Amen. Voici à quoi je m'engage. Jamais plus de grandes inondations ni supprimera la vie sur terre. Il n'y aura plus de grandes inondations pour ravager la terre. Et Dieu ajouta, voici les signes que j'ai mis engagés envers vous et envers tout être vivant. Aussi longtemps qu'il y aura des hommes. Amen. Je placerai mon arc dans le, dans le nuage. Il sera un signe 
qui rappellera l'engagement que j'aurai pris à l'égard de la terre. Chaque fois que j'accumulerai des nuages au-dessus de la terre et que l'arc-en-ciel apparaîtra, je, me, je penserai à l'engagement que j'ai pris envers vous et envers toutes les espèces d'animaux. Il n'y aura jamais plus de grandes inondations pour anéantir la vie. Je verrai paraître l'arc-en-ciel. Je penserai à l'engagement éternel que j'ai pris à l'égard de toutes les espèces vivantes de la terre. Et Dieu, et Dieu les répéta à Noé. L'arc-en-ciel est le signe d'engagement que j'ai pris à l'égard de tous les êtres vivants. Amen. 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 Na tulisema wiki iliyopita tulisema ya kwamba ili agano iku agano inabidi kwanza wakubaliane. Last week we said that for people to have a covenant they must be acceptance. Ya pili inabidi kuwe kuwe enye tunasema close ama sheria and then the second one uh, we must have uh, uh, laws na ya tatu kuwe alama and the third one we must have na, a sign wakati yenye Mungu anafanya agano na Noah and when god made the covenant with noah kiti ya kwanza noah alikuwa amekubali kutembea na Mungu and the first one noah was ready to walk with god kwa sababu noah alitengeneza alitengeneza safina because noah made the the the, the ark angetengeneza safina kama watembei pamoja na Mungu if noah made, didn't make the ark they were not going to walk together nikusema alitengeneza safina kwa sababu walikuwa wamekubali kwani mtu mmoja moja kwa ile wakati alikubali kutembea na Mungu. He made the ark because he accepted to work with God. Na wakati yenye Noah ile a, 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 kutengeneza ile chombo mvua ilikuja ikaangamiza kabisa dunia And when and Zuga. when he made the ark a rain came and it destroyed everything. A point ya pili kakuwa wakati wametoka katika uh, um, safina and then when they came out from the ark Mungu akamuita Noah and God called Noah akasema Mungu Noah nataka fanya na wewe agano nataka nijiangaje engagement jo agano and God said I want to make a covenant with you Mungu akamuitisha kwa agano and God called him kwa sababu point ya kwanza walikuwa shaendeza wanatumika pamoja because the first one they, they work together already point ya pili Mungu anataka sasa kukuwe atie sheria moja. And God want to make the laws. Na Mungu akasema katika agano. And God said in the covenant. Ya kwamba sitawahi kubali tena mvua kuiua dunia. And he said I will never let the rain to destroy the world. Hata kama tuko nasema leo inondasyo ma, mafuriko yanajao ni mwinguni haitawayaki funika dunia. And even if we say there will be rain but it will never destroy. Kwa sababu Mungu alisema ya kwamba sitawahi ua mwanadamu tena kwa, kwa kutumia maji ama mvua. Because God himself said he will never kill human being when he brings water. Hiyo ndio ilikuwa neno ya pili. That was the second one. Kwanza walitembea pamoja. The first one they used to work together. Ya pili kukakuwa sheria, kukakuwa makubaliano, kukakuwa sheria ya ndikwa. And the second one they had to have that law that Ya kwamba sitafanyaka hivi said mwanda. I will never do this again to the human being. Na ukiangalia hapa katika ile kukubaliana akasema tena kizazi chake makina akampatia advantage na kizazi chake nitakiongeza, nitaki multiplier. And he said I have to multiply your people. Marake alisema sitachia tena mvua. He said I will never bring water. Na kizazi chako nako nitaki multiply. And I will multiply your people. People. Kisha akasema ya tatu ya kwamba nitachia ili sijua kisha nitaka arkansiel aita hiyo haje nitatia ile arkansiel ile nafanyaka mvua ikinyesha kuna kuwa kitu kirimbo kia marangi rangi hivi kinatembea akasema nitakuwa natia ile sababu ya ile kitu kuwa ulimwenguni mpaka leo ni Mungu ndio alileta wakati ya Noah and God said I will bring rainbow as a sign to show that I will never destroy them. Ndio maana nabidi tukiona vingine vitu alama ulimwenguni tunajua kama kuna vitu vilifanyikaka Mungu alifanyaka na wanadamu dunia. That's why sometimes we do we see something we have to know that God had that come. Sijui kama kuna dunia ambayo hiyo kitu haikuwa kinaonekana. In everywhere in the world we have to see that rainbow. Na ile Mungu alisema ali Mungu alitengenezaka ile ni wakati make mbele ya Noah hiyo kitu haikuwa kuwaka 
before Noah rainbow never exists lakini wakati ya Noah Mungu akatengeneza arkansiel alama ya kuonesha kwamba hata wai angamiza tena dunia kwa mvua and for him to make the covenant with Noah he made that rainbow to show that he will never destroy the world anymore. Bwana Yesu asifiwe amen hiyo ni agano Mungu alifanya kana Noah that was the covenant that God made na mpaka made. leo mvua ikinyesha ukiona tu angalia tu mvua ikikua nyingi ile kitu kisimama mvua inaisha And up to now if even if there is a rain a lot of rain if you see the rainbow that's showing that the rain have Ni kusema kila wakati yenye ile kitu nasimamaka Mungu anakumbuka agano ya mamiaka na mamiaka mingi kupita yeye alifanya na That means every time that uh, the rainbow comes God remember that uh, he had a covenant years ago Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen amen Agano na nguvu Covenants have power. Mbona miaka ngapi kuanzia Noah mpaka leo ni miaka mingi mingi zaidi ya mingi sana. You can see now from Noah up to now it is so many years ago. Lakini Mungu anakumbuka kaka kitu alifanya kama miaka kama elfu na maelfu. Leo iko na to kwa hiyo agan. Amen. But God always remember what he did. He has a go and protect us from that curse. Agan ina nguvu ya ku protect miaka na miaka na kizazi kinakuwa protected kwa agan. Covenants have power to protect you. Hiyo ni agano Mungu alifanya na Noah. That was the covenant that God Tumora made. We can see how all three points was made. Ndio agano kitu ya kwanza mnatembea na Yesu. Mungu ni nani kwa maisha yako? Mungu waje wewe na Mungu. Hiyo ni point ya kwanza. The first thing it is your relationship with God. Sio kwenda kanisani ndio relationship na Mungu hapana. It's not going to church that is relationship. Tunaenda kanisani kwa sababu maandiko yanasema tukusanyike kwa pamoja. We go to church because the Bible say we have to gather together. Lakini sio kukusanyika kwa pamoja ndio natufanya kuwa wa Kristo apana. But it doesn't show us to be together it's me it mean we are Christians. Ukristo wetu ni maisha unaishi relationship yo kati ya wewe na Mungu ndio Ukristo hiyo. Being a Christian it is the life that you live your relationship with God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ile ndio ninjo kukubaliana ya hiyo njo pointi mbele ya kufanya agano pointi ya kwanza ni kuangalia relationship gani niko nayo kuna makubali kuna haja mimi na Yesu tuko haja the first the first uh, relation the first is your relationship with God sio mtu wa leo unavuta bangi leo mwizi leo hiki tena unaenda naomba wewe mepe hauna relationship yako iko poor ina ina haina nguvu it's not that you are living 50 50 your relationship doesn't have any power au tendaambia Mungu na mkubali tambia Mungu atasema nijiangazie na mtu mwenye ni ni, ni risk siko naye mu mikono yangu hakuna kitu kitaenda God, God will never accept because he is risking you are not serious Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen Wanduku ni na repeat hawa watu wote mu mnono waliweza walifanya agano na Mungu I repeat again everybody that was successful they had to make the cut Fata story yake atakwambia nilikubaliana kana na Mungu nikafanya naye hiki kapita miaka njoo nikaanza ona mtu agano na zaka mata miaka mingi lakini kwanza ulikuwa ikubaliana Muluai toka mali na Mungu mkitembea mu makubaliano fulani hiyo ndio inaitwa agan If you follow their stories they will tell you I made the covenant and the covenant can make can take so long but it will come to Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen amen Kama huko mguu ile kisi bila nasema mguu mu maji mguu ingine kwa mchanga Mungu hatafanya agano na wewe nakwambia kweli kwa sababu ni engagement ngumu sana If you are here and here God will never do anything to you Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni kusema hiyo pointi ya kwanza inabidi tuikamate kwa makini. It says the first point we have to respect. Hakikisha unatembea aje. Mimi sisemi kwenda kanisani, nina repeat. Sisemi juni na ubiri hapa. Ah, anaweza kuwa na ubiri na relationship yangu na Mungu iko mbaya. I don't say going to church or preaching. No. Kitu kenye mimi ninataka ni maisha ga aje wewe peke ndani ya roho yako na nisikia wewe na Mungu Mungu iko nani mu maisha yako eske Mungu ni number one kwa maisha yako What I want is your relationship with God eh, Do you put God as the first person in your life Mkila kitu naliliaka Mungu mama ma, mtu ya kwanza In everything you do do you cry to God as your first help Ama unaona kwanza wafumu waganga wanani njo nalilia Oh you go and see which 
kutia Mungu number 1 kwa maisha yako. You have to put God as your first. Hapana number 1 mwa kusema meni roho yako. Not only number 1 for saying but from your heart. Hiyo ni mfano wa kwa tunaenda agano ya pili ya mtu na Mungu ni Abraham. We are going with the second covenant it's the covenant from Abraham. Tunasoma mwanzo 15 tunaanza 18 mpaka 21. We are reading Genesis 15 18 up to 21. Ya 18 nasema hivi mwanzo 18 nasema Ce jour là Samani Ce jour là le Seigneur conduit une Seigneur conclut une alliance avec Abraham et lui dit A te descendre je donne je donne ce pays depuis le terrain d'Égypte jusqu'à l'Euphrate le grand fleuve mm -hmm. c'est le territoire de Kenit de Genzimit de Gandomit de Hit de Perizit de Refoatit de Refoit de Refoit de Amorite de Cananien de Galilée et de Jibisit bonne chance si fiwe amen hapa tuna Mungu anafanya agano na Abraham. Abraham ujua nini kwanza alianza fanya agano na Mungu? Here we see God making covenant with with Abraham. Aje kwanza Abraham anaanza fanya agano. Na How did Abraham make the covenant with God? Inabidi tupate point ya kwanza. We have to to have the first point. Point ya kwanza Abraham alikubali kutembea na Mungu. The first point Abraham accepted to walk with God. Biblia nasema agano alikuwa muinchi alimtoa ndani ya nchi ya Uri ilikuwa ni nchi ya babu zangu nchi walikuwa na budu mihungu. The Bible say God brought him in his uh, ancestors place ile inchi yenye ilikuwa baba ile land yenye ilikuwa ya, wa, ya wa baba zake mababu zao kule walikuwa na abudu miungu na babu yake baba yake Abraham alikuwa muabudu miungu in that land they used they used to to adore this uh, Uh, <laughs> wakati alikuwa na abudu wale mama alitusema kwa abudu mashetani so they were they were pr like praising this demon sasa nikusema kama baba yake ya, ya, ya Abraham balikuwa njoo na mamiungu balikuwa na abudu mashetani na Abraham na njoo ilikuwa maisha njoo maisha alikuwa anaishi bele Mungu hajamchukua so if the if Abraham's parents used to adore this demon so that means Abraham used to do the same lakini maandiko anasema Mungu akamuita Abraham toka ile inchi ya Uri Uri maana Giza lakini ni inchi njoo kwa naitwa Uri ile inchi akamuita kutoka ile inchi akamwambia from nowhere akamuita and the bible say god called him from that land akamwambia abraham unifuate and he told abraham come and follow me imagine mtu amujui so imagine someone you don't know lakini nasikia na kwa mko na mko na yenu kwanza ba mungu bei mnako kana abudu you have your own god that you 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 pray lakini unasikia mtu mwingine anakuita anakuambia unifuate mimi na uende kuenda kuambia and then you just hear another voice another another person call you and say follow me and go where i will tell you to go ile sio kuobey kweli is that not a big obedience samiti so you see how he submitted abraham alikubali ku risk kufata mtu mwenye ajui abraham accepted to risk and follow someone he doesn't na maandiko anasema ijapokuwa dini abraham alikubali alikubali yote yenye aliambiwa na Mungu na akatoka na mke wake Sara akaacha familia yao akaenda and the bible say abraham accepted everything and he left his family he went with his, with his wife Sarah usifikirie kama alikuwa rais kuachana na juja unaenda wapi don't think it was very easy for him to leave his family naambi jamani nasikia sauti ndani mwangu na niambia nitoke niende huko huko shua ile kesi ilikuwa ndogo ku explain jamani ile jamani elewe it was not easy for him to explain to his family that i have to go and follow nikusema kulikosa kuli, kuli kulikuwa kutokuelewana na familia alikubali familia yake wabaki wa kuhimia lakini atile sauti ilikuwa ikimwambia wende mahali fulani na naenda so he accepted for his family to don't accept what he wants but he went and follow what is calling him bwana yesu asifiwe amen amen na zaidi ya hapo sasa maandiko yanatia kutuambia kwamba zaidi sasa ya kumfuata 
ya kumu, ya kumufata Abrahamu maandiko na kutuambia kwamba Abrahamu alikubali ali akabeba bibi yake Sara wakaenda wote and the bible says even if he accepted everything he had to take his wife and they all left na kaza ishi maisha ya kuwa mama alikuwa anajenga hema hapa Mungu anambia wende huko anae ndio maisha Abraham alikuwa anaishi and he started living the life to live today here and tomorrow another different thing alikubali kutembea na ule but he accepted to walk with god kisha Mungu akamwambia sasa Abraham njo hapa unasikia sasa tunasoma sasa kumi na nane njoo sasa Mungu anamwambia sasa Abraham ya kwamba leo ninataka fanya agano na wewe maana walikuwa huko step ya kwanza walikuwa shafanya kwanza naye and here now we are going to read where God told him I'm going to do the covenant with you akasema ce jour là le seigneur conclut une alliance avec Abraham et lui dit as as ate descenda je donnerai ce pays maana zaidi sasa ya Abraham kumuti kufata Mungu kufanya vitu vya Mungu anamwambia akamwambia sasa na mimi ninafanya agano na wewe kwa kisu na niti na mimi watoto wako nitawapatia hii inchi and then after abraham accepted to work with god god said because you accepted me i'm going to do the covenant with you I will give your children this place. Mungu akampatia ile inchi yenye barua sema ya imagine. And God gave him all this place. Na hiyo inchi Mungu alimpatia kulikuwa watu wanaishi pale. And this place there were people living in this place. Njoo hao wenye maandiko yanatuambia hapa kulikuwa wa wa kana wa Haiti, wa Paris, hao njoo walikuwa naishi, maana Mungu alimpatia mgeni ya watu. <laughs> so God gave Abraham a place that people was living there na njoo naona mpaka leo Israel kuna kwa vita wanaambiaka Israel sio kwao ni hiyo njoo chanzo wanasema kama hiyo haikuwa kiland ya Israel and now you can see in Israel they have fight, they fight every time because they tell them these are not your place kwa sababu Kanaan ilikuwa ni Kanaan ni mtoto wa nani wa ule Noah because Canaan is a, is a child of Noah. Ya yeah, nawa Canaan walikuwa naishi Canaan. Ile Canaan yenye kwa Israel ilikuwa ilikuwa ni ilikuwa ni taifa ilikuwa na shirua yao ilikuwa pale. So Canaan used to live in Canaan. There were people living in there. Mungu ali alimpatia hapo njoo kwenye Mungu alipenda yote mali na kupatia. Si kusema ilikuwa empty. Kulikuwa maufalme zilikuwa pale. So God gave him a place that there were people living there. Kwa macho ya Ibrahim ilikuwa nguvu kwa ile wakati alikuwa yeye na Sara lakini Mungu iko anampatia maufalme. Hii unaona hii mainchi kuanzia Israel kuanzia mpaka wea ya Misri mpaka unaona wote mafalme. Hiyo tu ni mainchi na kupatia. Ilikuwa so hard to bring him. So it was hard for Abraham to to understand how God is giving him places that there is people living there already and he, he was only him and his wife lakini ile ndio ilikuwa point ya pili makubaliano maengagement so that was the second point they had lakini ijapokuwa kwa macho ya Ibrahim ilikuwa ngumu tena ngumu sana hiyo kitu kuingia na ali trust god even if it was hard for Abraham to to understand all these things but he had to trust him. Joma na Ibrahim ijapokuwa aelewi lakini alikuwa anamwamini tu Mungu. Abraham even if everything was hard for him but he had to trust God. Mungu akafanya naye ile makubaliano. And God had to do that. Siwezi kwenda niingie kule aje conflict. Hiyo ndio chanzo ya conflict ya Israel. And that was the first uh, conflict. Unaona maenchi zingine zinakatara Israel pale sio kwangu ni hapo ndio chanzo. That's why you see other other places they refuse Israelite people say this Na, is not. Hata kifata ile kanisa la la la, la Yerusalemu pia nayo ni njo ni apartheid ya Daud njo kwa ile shida ilikuwa even if you see the the Jerusalem church that's where the places come from kwa hiyo ndio tengeneza ile kanisa ya 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 nini kulikuwa ingine taifa ilikuwa pale maana kulikuwa ingine kabila ilikuwa pale Daudi akaenda nunua hiyo fasi akaambia nipatie hii fasi nitengenezee Mungu kani nitengeneze hapa niombe hapo Mungu na wakati Mungu alimjibia sasa Daudi alikuwa mwile mateso Mungu asema hapa hapa nitafanya kanisa lakini kwa ni kwa watu lakini alipanunu and even the place that David went and built the temple it was a place for other people but he went and built that place sasa atuko kule kwa kusema haje ile conflict iko pale sisi tuko hapa kuonesha agano we are not talking about all these things we are here to show you about wakati convenience. Mungu anaandikiana na ile na na na, na, na Abraham hiyo maneno when god was writing those 
things for Abraham. Now we can see two points there already. And there is the third point because God called it it's a covenant. So we are going to see the third point. Tusome. Tunasoma sasa haki 10 na tulikuwa soma 15 tunasoma sasa 17 17 tunasoma sasa 9 We are reading the same same 17 up uh, no, 9 Tunasoma na James na Genesis lakini 17 sasa Yeah we are reading the same same Genesis 17 9 to 13 9 to 13 Inasema die die ancora Abraham Toi et tes descendants de de genera de generation en generation vous devez respecter mon alliance voici l'obligation que je vous impose et à laquelle vous vous soumettrez toi et des tes descendants quiconque est parmi vous de sexe masculin devrait être circoncis amen votre circoncision sera le signe Na, na repete na sema votre eleven na sema votre circoncision sera le signe wow. de mon alliance établi entre vous et moi wow. de génération en génération tous vos générations tous vos garçons seront circoncis quand ils auront huit jours de même pour des esclaves nés chez toi et pour les esclaves étrangers que tu as achetés te, eh, tu as acheté qui ne sont donc pas membres de ton clan. Ainsi, les esclaves nés chez toi et celui qui te, que tu, as, tu auras acheté sera circoncis afin que mon alliance soit inscrite dans votre chair comme une alliance perpétuelle. Amen. 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 Zaidi ya kumuambia bile vyote ya kumupatia le vitu mbili. After God gave him the two, the two signs. Ya tatu sasa kamuambia. The third one he told him. Ya kwamba nitafanya sasa alama ya iki. And he told him I'm going to do now the sign of our covenant. Alama ni gani? Ya kambia wavijana wote watakuwa naena, watakuwa silikonsi, watakuwa na katu wa yando, wangali wa dogo, siku nani. And then he said that the, the third one, it's all boys when they are 80 years, they have to be circumcised. Sasa, watoto wote wakati wangali wa changa, watakuwa na wanaenda silikonsize. Watakuwa na kuwa fata, watakuwa na pita musilikonsizyo. And then he said when they are still so young, they have to be circumcised. Akasema, ile naitia alama kwa mwili wako, ili milele yote ile alama itabaki maka cicatrice ibaki kwa mwili and then he said this one i'm going to put it on their bodies so they stay with it all their lives maka leo na mpaka si dunia taisha circumcision kwa dunia isha kwa vijana wote karibu now you can Where see from that time up to now all boys have to like be circumcised that one never existed. Lakini kupitia Mungu na 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 Abraham, Mungu akatengeneza kitu ambayo kiwe alama ambayo sisi wanaume tunakipitia mpaka leo. That one never exist but because of God and Abraham, God has to make that what we are going through up to now. Tunaona wa ndugu wapendwa we can see now, my friends. My rere, tu, makosa tunafanya kwa makanisa yetu. Tunawazaka hii alama njo wagano. What we do, the mistake, we always think the sign that mean come. Na sometimes, suwa pasi, tunatu masimaku kwa mazabao, tunasema, unaona, halitia alama kwa mwili, na weleta alama mbele ya mungu ya gano. E, e, atashimu. And we will see. Stand up there and say, you see, God made the covenant, the sign. So you come to and bring the sign. That's not covenant. Sometimes, suwa tumishi tunafunza ya watu. Leta mbuzi, leta ngome mbele ya mungu. Ukamate uche ya gano na haa, ule mutu atashindo na wanashindoka kila wakati juu ya nini awainizaki ya gano. And we always, when you will stay as a pastor saying, bring the cow, bring the goat. Because you want to do the covenant, that's not covenant. That person will fail. Sio hiyo mbuzi ndio inafanyaka agano. It's not that cow that is bring the, the covenant. Sio ile mbuzi ndio inaweza tuma Mungu afanye agano na wewe hapana. It's not the God that say God is going to bring the covenant 
ni ile makubaliano the covenant is acceptance between you maana ile ile vitu vinabidi viene juu ile kitu kitu agano the covenant must have all the three points Sasa, for it to be called muangalie mara ngapi mmekudua ka pesa kanisani na wachungaji sisi wachungaji now we can see how we made mistake and we lost our money unatoka nyumbani kama ni wewe unaamba tutoba na kushinda bana kusumbua unasema hapa watoto wakubaweza hata niende kwa chombe kuna kamata kingombe unapeleka kanisani and then you see now you are you are going you are going hard time with your children you say now i'm going to do the covenant you take your cow to the church unaseka sana laleta hii ngombe na kiafanya agano na watoto yangu bote bakuwe naweza kumasomo bakuwe na akili kumasomo you bring the cow and say i bring this because i want good to my children they will not have that because that will not come no 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 aba wezi wezi they it will not be success hiyo ndio tunafanya kama uko na nisikia na jota kubaliana mimi ni hivi ndio tunafanya ka agano that's how we do our covenant na hiyo magano maana tunasa nishafanya magano na Mungu hakuna kitu agano haiwezi shindwa never and then you say i made a lot of covenant with god i never be successful the covenant will never never fail inashindwa kwa sababu atuifanyaki it fail because we never do covenant tunaita agano lakini sio agano we call it covenant but that's not covenant sikwambini siko na siko na unda vitu vyangu na kuonesha gisi watu wamefanya agano na gisi ulikuwa na point zinaenea ndani njo agano i'm not creating my own things i'm showing you how people they made really covenant unaweza leta pastor pesa kwa mchungaji lakini take care You can bring your money to the pastor but you have to follow the covenant. You have to make the the sign yes. Lakini eneza vingine vitu. But you have to follow all of this. Hapa Mungu anamwambia ya kwamba watie alama kwa mwili ya kukatiwa yando vijana ambayo yuko mpaka leo inafanyika. God told him to make the sign on their bodies on boys bodies. Dunia mzima leo na wa Freemason na wa Fumu na wa Kristu wanaume wote atuko kwa hiyo atuko atushuki chini ya hiyo sheria na wa Freemason unaenda kwa hiyo sheria And now you can see in the world even if you are Christian or not you still follow the same same uh covenant Unaona gisi ya gano ina nguvu ndugu You can see now how the covenant have power Unaona gisi ya kwanza ya Noah ilikuwa na nguvu You can see how Noah's covenant was so powerful Unaona gisi ya pili ya Abraham ina nguvu You can see now how Abraham's covenant is so powerful Jo vile vile ukifanya gano yako nayo itakuwa na nguvu That the same same way if you make your covenant will be so powerful Lakini wakati Mungu aliambia Abraham na nafanyiwa sana anza kupeleka watoto wake circumcision ilikuwa ni kana kama nikakitu tofauti lakini una gisi na beba dunia kwa mkono when abram started to do the circumcisions it was showing like just something easy but now you can see how up to now all man live under that covenant tunafanya nyingine ya gano tunasoma nyingine mfano ya gano ni ya daudi we are going to see another example of another covenant is it's david's covenant tunasoma samuel wa kwanza we are going to do a uh, fast samuel Samuel wa kwanza tunasoma um, saba yake First Samuel 7 Samuel wa eh Samuel wa pili sorry Oh second Samuel Samuel wa pili tunasoma saba tunaanza mwanzo iko mpaka 17 tutasoma yote We are reading second Samuel tunaanza 117 Okay S- Samuel wa pili saba yes moja mpaka 17 second saba. second Samuel 7 1 up to 17 ni amrefu tutaisoma yote lakini itawe explain juu tukimbie pia na muda amen amen inasema hivi le roi david installa dans son palais le so s'installa dans son palais le seigneur le protégera de tous les ennemis qui entouraient son royaume un jour le roi dit à prophète Nathan J'habite une maison en bois de sang et le coffre sacré de Dieu n'a pour un abri que une qu'une tente de toile. Que pensais-tu Certainement certainement une idée à ce sujet répondit Nathan. Vas-y réalise réalise-la car le Seigneur est avec toi. Naishia hapa na nitaenda na explain mtasoma tutasoma hapo tafata historia nzuri 
you can read and then you will see everything about Zaudi baada ya kutembea kutembea na Mungu miaka yote jinsi alianza vita mpaka Mungu akampatia ufalme David after walking with God all his life until God gave him to be the king. Tunajua vizuri historia ya Daudi kisa alikuwa muaminifu mbele za Mungu. We know very well the story of David how he was so faithful to God. Na zaidi ya hapo David Daudi ndio alipigana Saul Saul mwana kuna mavita alipigana Daudi alipigana kwa vita zote akapika wafalme wote mpaka wote wakaanza muongo. Solomon never fight a lot. It's David who did all the fights. Alikuwa kama David alikuwa vre kombata an kabit katika wapiganaji wa kuli mwinguni Daudi alikuwa namba David was a very very strong fighter zaidi ya kupiga wale wafalme wote wote wakaanza muogopa ya kupindukia after he fight all those uh, kings they start being fear for him na zaidi ya pale akasitawi sasa maana akaikala na ma maana isha kuwa mzuri washamkimbia kaza ikala iko na utajiri wote and after when he was so powerful he had to relax because he had everything za daudi akapatwa na ide uh, uh, mafikiri and then david had that idea in his head akaita mtumishi wa mwaka anambia sasa mimi angalia niko mu nyumba ya mzuri and then he called the man of god he said see i'm in a very nice house niko na kila kitu nataka i have everything that i want lakini sanduku la sanduku la bwana linaishi ndani ya tent but where god uh, lives it inside the tent kweli nafaa hiyo Is that normal? Ule ule mnani mnani nabii uh, mtumishi wa Mungu akamwambia akamwambia Daudi tayari una uwazo tumia hizo wazo kwa sababu Mungu iko na wewe. And then the man of God told him David you have a very good idea use it because God is with you. Daudi akaamua kumfanyizia Mungu ekalo. And then David decided to to make to make the tent the, the temple of God. Ekalo enye Solomon alifanya ni yenye Daudi ndio alipatwa na ile idea aifanye. The temple that Solomon built it was idea from his daddy day. Akaanza kama tunao hata nimfanyizie Mungu. And he started the process. Mungu akaambia ule mtumishi wake akamkujia akamwekwa usiku akamuchika akamuita aka akamwambia. And God uh, appeared to his servant he told him. Akamwambia kwamba nimeona uwazo ya Daudi and he told him i see the idea of them no mwambie nimeyapreciate sana and god told him i really appreciate it sasa but now mwambie yeye hata tengeneza ile akasema kwanza eh siku muoblija ni tengeneze ekalu and i said the first one i didn't uh, uh, tell him to make the the temple na miaka yote niliwahi kana israel na kutembea na israel nilikuwa si ekala mu nyumba ya ekalu nilikuwa na ekala muhema and then he said all this year i always live in the tent na sikuwahi kukonda ni sikuwahi kuhukumu israel kwa kusema amkunitengeneze ekalu mm-hmm. and i never tell them uh, you did but you never make a La- tent kini ame furahia mitengeneze mimi mungu ekalu makao yangu but if david see he have to build the temple for me umwambie ni good idea go tell him that a very good idea lakini yeye hata itengeneza but he can't do it for me kwa sababu alimwanga damu mingi sana ile damu ikutalia his hand is so dirty alikuwa ni vegeria aliwana sana damu iko mingi na ya mbele yangu he killed so many people his hands are dirty sasa umwambie ni miko na uwezi iko ni tengeneze kalo yeye ni his hands are dirty he can't make a sababu ile damu na ya mbele za mungu tuko na jua because that blood is crying God. Mungu akamwambia mwambie yeye asitengenezi. And God told this man go tell David no. Lakini mtoto mwenye ataza mtoto mwenye atatoka kiunoni mwake mwana atatoka mnyumba yake yeye atanitengenezea ile ekalo. But one of his son will build it for me. Na sasa umwambie Daudi. Now go tell David. Kwa kuwa ametia aliyakuwa na nia nzuri because he had that very good idea. Sasa mimi ninaagana sasa na. Me I'm going to make this covenant with him. Ya kwamba yeye mtu mwalitengeneza agano lake alikuwa ni Daudi. 
The one who made the covenant was David. Alikuwa anatembea kwanza mzuri na Mungu. He was working as God wanted. Bak akakubaliana kufanya kitu ma nijengee, kukakuwa kubali anijengee Mungu ki. And then he said I have to make this for God. Mungu akakubaliana na hiyo kitu. And God accepted that idea. Na Mungu akaleta alarm. And God brought the sign. Mungu akamwambia sasa wende muambie Daudi. And God told his man go tell David. Sasa kuanzia leo from now kwa Israeli katika Israeli in Israel kizazi chake ndio kitarenye mpaka gisi kutakuya yule mwenye anastahili kuchukua hiyo nafasi his people will be always king until someone else come ambaye ilikuwa ni Yesu ndio kikuwa mfalme wa da mfalme and then after david's people only jesus came lakini Tukirudi nyuma sana but if we come back again Daudi iko munani ya mkizazi cha ine cha 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 nani cha wanaita eh, Yuda David is from the is for the fourth fourth tribe of tribe of Judah Maana ni mtoto wa Yuda ule mtu mwanaka Yuda akaenda mwiki leo kitu kasema Yuda batutake ba, lokosa kuzala baba katembea na na, na msana wake bila kujua na Biblia msana wake bila kujua So David is from that tribe of Judah Sasa da, na ukiangalia wakati yenye uh, uh, baba yao ambao alikuwa anaitwa Israel mwe Mungu alipanga Israel ilikuwa Jacob And if you see their daddy that God called Israel it was Jacob Mungu alimwambia kwa Jacob ya kwamba God told Jacob e, e, wakati Jacob ali, alianza kubariki watoto wake mbele ya kufa When Jacob was blessing his children Alifu before that wakati wa kubariki Yuda angali kijana When he wanted to bless Judah akamwambia ufalme fimbo ya ufalme itatoka mikononi mwako mpaka wakati Biblia nasema mpaka wakati Messi atakuja And, and he said the, the 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 blessing from the king will never come out from your hands until the mercy came sasa yuda nani daudi naye hapa kwa kupatwa na ile daudi nani wa kabila ya yuda yes sasa kwa kupatiwa na hiyo aida yeye naka ipata sasa ikageu ikabakia mfamilia yake maana yake kuliko sasa ibakie ya Yuda yote ikabakia mwake sasa so when david got that idea to build the temple for god that uh, king like the king stayed in his own family na ukiangalia Yesu iko desanda wa kabila yeye wa desanda wa familia nani ya david and if you see jesus came from David so matumu matayo gisu tena matayo gisu na uta exactly Yesu ndio alikuwa kumaliza sasa ufalme kwa David kuishi ufalme If you read in Matthew you will see how God was the end of David Lakini ni kwa sababu David aliamua kufanya makubwa kufanya kitu na Mungu And all this is because David accepted to make something for God. Na Mungu akamwambia vile. And God promises him. Manake alikuwa kwanza tunajua habari ya Daudi kutembea na Mungu and we can know we know how David walked with God. Kabili akaleta proposition, akaleta mama mama kusema mimi nataka nifanye kitu. Mungu akakubali mafanye hiyo makubaliano. And the second one he brought that idea and God accepted. Na ya tatu ikaambiwa kwamba ufalme au atoka mu nyumba yake mpaka siku Kristo atakuja and god made that sign that the kingness will never come out from your tribe from your house until jesus ijapokuwa jo mtoto alibakia alibakia salomo ndio alibakia na ufalme ijapokuwa katika watoto wa salomo walikosana na mungu akaza kwa makosa mungu akasema kwa kuwa nimefanya agano na daudi sita muinyima ufalme lakini nagabua israeli mara pili pum even if solomon's children start to misbehave God said because I have the covenant with your grandparents I will never take the king out of your hands I will just dis- distribute it Akaamua akagawa ikuwa kwa sasa tainyona si kama Biblia mko taifa la Israel na taina na ufalme wa Yuda ufalme wa Israel na wa Yuda That's why you can read in the Bible there is tribe the kingness of Judah and Israelite Katika ufalme wa Yuda kulikuwa ben, kulikuwa kabila ya Benjamin na hapo wa, wa na, na, na Yuda mwenyewe And in the Judas there were 
Benjamin and Judas. Na ingine kabila za Israel zilikuwa ingine ngambo ya Israel. And Israelite people, all people were on their side. Lakini mungu si kusema uyu yuda hii kabila libati huku mbili. Likuwa na stahiju, walikuwa na kosa. Ule mfano njua likuwa na kosa njua na mungu waligawa. And don't think they were very very faithful to God. They were messing up with God. Lakini kwa kuwa mungu alisema nini shafanya agano na babu yao. Ijapukua wanakosa, inabidi tu ni mapatie ufalme na mwile makosa niko na ubabaki tu na ufalme. Just because of the covenant God made with David, he had to keep as much as they were making mistakes. Wana isu asifiwe. Amen. Ijapukua kuwa munga likuwa na anapika bala na mapinire, lakini bado tuba na mapatia ufalme. God used to punish them, but he, is, he still continue giving them the king. Munaona marangapi ya kwamba agano ina nguvu mpendwa can you see now how many times the covenant is so powerful lakini ina nguvu kama unajua kuifanya and it is very powerful if you know how to make it watoto wake waliendelea kuishi kwa ile kwa hiyo nini mpaka jisi Yesu alikuya na akanyakamata nafasi yake mwenyewe his children used to live to be kings until when Jesus Christ came. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Inabidi ile tuone nguvu enye ziko katika agano. We have to know the power that is there when you make a covenant. Ijapokuwa Israel walifanya makosa wa watoto wa kizazi cha Daudi kilifanya makosa, lakini Mungu alikuwa njoo anakumbuka Daudi kisiwa alikubaliana, anasema Daudi mwenyewe tulikuwa sawa. Ni watoto ndio wafahamu. Sasa si ndapoja ke nilikubaliana na Daudi sikukubaliana na watoto. Watoto wa wakee basi tu. Even if they used to make mistakes, but God just see the covenant that he made with David and he used to forgive them. Sam kikuwe ukifanya agano na Mungu watoto wako wataikula ile agano. When you make the covenant with God it have Ile ilikuwa ni agano Mungu alifanya na Daudi. That was the covenant that God made with David. Ukiangalia vizuri Daudi mbele kwa sababu Mungu alimkataza kaambia juu limwanga damu mingi na ile damu iko too much mbele yangu awetengeneza. Lakini Daudi jua ni prepare kila kitu kwa ile kanisa. And even if God refused for David to to build the temple for him, but David was the one who prepared everything for the temple. Watu mpaka walitoka mbali kwa kutengeneza kwa kuleta ile msaada, kutengeneza ile mpaka risima risiko na ile tengeneza ile nini ya 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 Israel. And people came from everywhere to make the temple for God even from Risi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tunaona mara ngapi agano na nguvu? Can we see now how many times the covenant is so powerful? Lakini obligasyo yake ni moja inabidi ieneze condition zake. But it have to have all three conditions. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen, amen. Na njeo mara tunaenda tufanye mfano wa mwisho sasa tuone haja tunaweza fanya agano ama haja tulifungwa ndani ya maagano. We now let us see now the last uh, example and then we are going to see how we can make our covenant. Tukamate Samuel wa kwanza. We are going to read first Samuel sura yake ya kwanza. Uh, Tuna Samuel wa kwanza sura mm -hmm. ya kwanza mstari wa saba hadi 10 hadi 11. First Samuel One se, seven up to seventeen. Okay. Inasema hivi. Amen. Hapa ilikuwa ni Ana, ingine ndiko kusema anasema alifanya alifanya vipi? Mm. Naziri. Ukiangalia naziri ndio ile maloa yote makubaliano. Mm. Utaona ni agano. Hii ni agano Ana alifanya na Mungu. Amen. Akafanya hii tunasoma inasema hivi. Sasa inasema E chaque année lorsque Ana se rendait au sanctuaire du Seigneur la même scène se répète une année comme une comme à Anna se mettait au pleur au pleur au pleurer et au à, à ne vouloir rien manger son mari lui demanda Anna pourquoi pleure-tu pourquoi ne veux-tu rien manger pourquoi est-il si triste et ce que je ne veux pas mieux pour toi que Dieu que du fils après que l'on ait mangé et bu au et bu au à bord du sanctuaire Shilo, Anna se leva, le prêtre Élie était assis près du mont euh, du montant de la porte. Anna était très très affligée 
tout en pleurant et elle priait le Seigneur en prononçant cette promesse. Seigneur, Dieu de l'univers, vois combien je suis malheureuse. Ne m'oublie pas. Ayez pitié de, de moi. Donne-moi un fils. Je m'engagerai à, à consacrer pour toujours à ton service. Ses cheveux ne seront jamais coupés. Anna priant longuement et Elie l'observa, il envoyait ses, ses lèvres, il, il voyait ses lèvres remis, mais n'attendait aucun aucune son, car elle priait intérieurement. Mm -hmm. Elie pensa qu'elle était ivre mm -hmm. et lui dit, restera-t-il encore longuement dans, ce, dans cet état? Va faire passer ton ivresse ailleurs. « Non, je ne suis pas ivre, » répondit Anne. « Je suis une femme malheureuse, mais je n'ai pas bu. Je suis ici pour confier ma peine au Seigneur. » Amen. 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 I wanted us to, to take something from Anna. Anna used to go every day to the church, but he never got the Anna. And Penina was always laughing. At her. Because she had children, but Anna never got children. Sasa, ikafika siku moja. And then one day, Aka decide. she decided. Kwanza kifata Anna alikuwa mwaminifu na mwambia kila wakati alikuwa anaenda kanisani kuomba na kufanya kazi ya Mungu. Maana alikuwa kuanga, maana inabidi must kukue kuko relationship, kuko relation ya mzuri wewe na Mungu. So if you read it say Anna used to go every day to church. So you must have, they must have that relationship. Sasa ijapokuwa Anna alikuwa anaweza pointi moja ya agano lakini agano haikuwa nafanyika kwa sababu alikuwa afanyi pointi zingine. So Anna had one point already but she never finished other point. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Sasa ikafika siku Anna kona say too much na bidi ni end step zingine na bidi ni 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 end tena mbele. And then one day Anna said no it's getting too much. I have to do something else. Anna akasema zaidi ya kutembea na Mungu akafanya aka makubaliano sasa aka create makubaliano na Mungu. And then Anna said I I walk with God now I have to do assignment. Akaambia Mungu. And then she told God unipe kijana Give me a bowl because I don't have any child. If you give me that bowl, I will give him back to you. Na alama ni kuamba wembe aita wayaki pita kitumaki aita wayaki katiwa nywele takuwa ni alama ni kiona nywele na kumbuka iya ganu ni mifanyi. And the sign will be that he will never got his hair cut. That will be the sign. You can see now how the covenant made. I don't think I don't know if you are understanding what I'm trying to say. The, no, no. the covenant is not only because you are going through hard time, you want to change it right they now. They must have things that you have to, to fix for the covenant before the covenant. On top of Anna being faithful to God, he must have that covenant. Like and more. the signs too. And that's what you can see. People had that covenant. wenye wenye wako waliweza agano. We can see how people in the Bible they were so successful, not the way that we do it. Kuna kazi wanatumika ili agano. They have to walk in it for it to be called covenant. Na agano ili ili kuwe makubaliano. Juu tukisema 
uh, kwa mfano nataka fanya agano na mtu wa dunia like if you want to do a covenant with the people someone inabidi kwanza mnakubaliana bwana tufanye hii project pamo mnakubaliana mtufanye hiyo you have to accept it and okay let us do this project zaidi ya ile inabidi kuwa sasa sheria mak entereza ngo ni gani entereza ko ni gani and then after that you have to build that law that show what is my interest what is your interest ukiangalia mzote magana tulisoma hapa kulikuwa na kuwa enterea mungu na enterea mwanadamu nasema hii term si kusema si Mungu anataka entere. Yes Mungu na anataka yeye mkile kitu nataka yeye Mungu anapata nini. So I want to show you how the interest come from all the, those two sides. Hakuna agano enye italeta enye itaweza kuwa kama kila mtu ana faida kwa ile agano my friend haiko. There will never be the covenant if and all the two parties there is no interest in side ukubaliana wewe na mwanamke muoane kuna faida kwa kwa ile mashere kuna faida zatapata utakuwa mume wangu nitakuwa utanitakuti nitakufanyia hivi nitakufanyia nitakuzalia watoto na mimi nitakuwa bwana nitakupenda nitakufanyia una kila mtu iko na entere mu hiyo kitu haya kwa even if, even if in, you want to marry someone they must be that uh, interest inside that i will do this and you will do this hakuna agano bila kila mtu kupata faida muyo agano there never will never exist any covenant if there is no interest in that sasa wewe kwa unaona kamata mbuzi na pelea kanisani unasema mungu natoka watoto wangu baanze pata kushule mungu anapata nini And then you take your, your your God you take to the church you say God I want my kids to be successful what is God is interest in yes, faida ya Mungu kwa hiyo agano ni gani niambie what is God is interest inside that Bwana Yesu asifiwe amen agano inabidi si ni agano si kui inaje explain mzuri tumekubaliana tufanye kitu sasa mimi niko na faida njoo kitu ya kwanza kile mtoza kibili okay tufanye business faida yangu ni gani so you make that covenant but what is my interest. Ukiangalia hapa Ana alijua mzuri kisa kufanya hii game yake. You can see here Ana saw it very well how she's going to change her game. Akasema aje Mungu nipe kijana. And then she said God bless me with a son. Kwa sababu alikuwa anachekewa na mwenzake la sana kosa mtoto. Because the other girl was laughing at her. Lakini Ana kajua na inabidi Mungu naye apate atapata amo nini. And then she figured out in her head God have to have interest. What is God going to have in Kisha kaambia Mungu hiyo mtoto nitakupa aya kutumikia milele. And then she see she said God Your interest is to for me to give him back to you. Malaki Ana alikuwa na benzoe atoe ile aibu ya kusema iko tasa. Ndio alikuwa haja ya Ana. So Ana wanted just to take that shame out from her. Na Mungu naye alikuwa na haja ya kupata mtumishi wa kumtumikia kwa sababu kikweli watoto wa Eli wenyewe walikuwa pasha mgombolo ile Eli walikuwa shaanza miss walianza kutefanya usharati mpaka ndani ya ikala. Because uh, God also wanted someone to walk with him. Eli's children messed up everything already. Makili fiki na wakati Mungu iko na haja ya mtumishi, Ana iko na haja ya kijana. And that time God wanted someone to serve him. Ana wanted a yes. child to. Sasa hiyo business Mungu atairuka kweli. Hakuna kazi. <laughs> <laughs> Mungu ataruka ile biashara kweli. How can God go out from that? Unaona hayo unaweza kamata yeah. <laughs> na Mungu na uingiza Mungu hii mtego nitakubana. You see now how you can Do something until God can come. Ana aliona hapa Mungu ni mmasi atashikwa tu. And then go Ana changed the plan. She saw here I have to catch God. Maana ki alikamata akambia Mungu unitoe mutasa na mimi nikupatie mtumishi. Kesi and then, and then she saw it. <laughs> oh my god. She saw it. she said God just give me that. Bring my shame out and I will do something for you to have a servant. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen amen. Hiyo njoo inaitwa agano. That's what called come. Angalata sisi tulisema za Mungu na taifa kwambia Israel mkiheshimu hivi na nitawabariki nitawafanyizia hiki mkishika sheria zangu. Maana kuko avanta kulikuwa nani ya Israel wakishika sheria yana wabariki na washike kila mtu iko na faida tu mwagano zote wa ndani And even if you see when he was talking with Israelite people he used to tell them if you follow my laws I will do this 
So in everything, God have to have interest. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. amen. Sasa weyo niambie, angala sita mumaisha yako, sao lifanyaka agano. Niambie entere ya mungu ilikuwa wapi. So mwere. now you said you made a covenant. Try to look that covenant. What was God's interest in that? Labda na zambia ndiyo mie pastor, nilikuwa kamu kristu kweli, mina muamini mungu, na nikafanya agano na mungu, I na nikasema hii alimu. Sasa uniambie mwile agano ya kama kukua tamaa yako peke yako, niambie pesa za mungu, ama entere ya mungu, kusiyo ilo alama, Alama ni alama, nusa tu alama ni mguzi Haiko njo entere ya mungu So that is not God's interest Just see what you did And then if you see it, what God got out from that That was only out of your interest Na njo vino wangali hata Kuna ile maagano nye wazazi wetu walifanya Agano za kishiza Na mashetani Za na wafumu Walikupele kaka kwa mufumu Nimake mzazi yako wanza alikubalia na mufumu Ama alikubalia na wile maniungu you can see what our parents made when they made the covenant with Satan. They took you and go and make that uh, acceptance with those Satan. Na utangalia mulikuwa faida. Baba nasema umto tu wangu asisomaki. Ili abakia pa nyumbani. Na we faida ni kusema umto tu wangu atakuwa ile. Kila muti kuna faida ba na kuna kumwa gano nye. Labda na kifamilia ni kufungaka. And if you try to see it very well, they were the... That interest between your dad or those Satan. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Una agano gani konani? What is your covenant with God? Una agano gani? What is your covenant? Ukifanya agano uko na double security mina ambia wadi. When you do covenant with God, you have double security. Uko na security ya kwanza ya kwamba. Uwe ni mkristu mwana wa mungu na biti mungu wa kusekirize. Your first security is you are... Child of God, God must secure you. Security ya pili, kuna kile kenye mutabiti mufanya na mungu, sa mungu akitika ukufe, ya, akitika ukufe, kile kitu kitafani ni, akita timina bidi ya kusekirize juu ile kitu ifanyi. And the second security is, God always have to follow what you made with him. Because if he doesn't follow it, that means he's out of you. Nekupatia mfano, kwa mfano lisema seme, Mimi nitakuwa ni ulifanya agano na Mungu kwa ndeza condition zote utakuwa mfanyabiashara na mkakubaliana na Mungu utakuwa mfanyabiashara. Maybe you did the covenant with God he said I want to be a business. Labda mwende biashara yako kaambia Mungu percent yangu itakuwa ni hii, percent yako ni ile. And you said God this will be your percentages and this will na be Na alama labda katoa na pesa za kufanya alama ama mbuzi ama kondoo kafanya alama jo kufunga gano. And maybe you did that uh, that sign you took your your money and took Sasa money. Mungu anajua kama huyu mtu inabidi akuwa businessere mkubwa jumuko amo pesa zangu zitakuwa nasaidia ba maskini kujenga makanisa makentere yangu kama huyu mtu maana huyu mtu akikufa hata kwa businessere na mimi ninarateka na hapa bote watoto wengi ni kwataka ba barofele ba kuna sadika jo ile pesa bote bana kosa maana yake ataku sekirize tu so god will just see this person have to be successful, successful. This person have to live. You have to live because I have my interest in it. If he's successful, I will have my money. He will help the children. He will do this and this. God must secure you. Jona alagano inanguv. The covenant is so powerful. Kwa sababu mwa kwa zako security, kwa zako fa security yako kwa kwa wakati mko na yagano. When God do your se your security when you are coming, aingize mugulu pale. The person who will want to enter in between My you. My friend, mungu ana ana mubomolaka nzo. God will destroy that person without knowing. Ana piga kaya ye juweze kana nzo. God will destroy that person very good. Lakini kitu kenye mimi ni nawaza kuomba ni kimoja. But what I can ask you is one thing. What I can tell you today is this. Don't be disappointed because you made a lot of covenants. You made it out of mistakes. Today now you learn how to make the covenant. I tell you today the covenant you have to have this treatment. How do you walk with God? It's not only going to church. Going to church is good because the Bible says we have to be together with Maisha yako ya, ya ukristu wewe na yesu yiko wadi njoni kona ukristu. How is your life with God? That's what I'm asking. Yesu njoki la kitu unamweshi. Mungu kona ye vizuri. 
God is everything. Do you respect God? Number two, na pashwa fanya. The second one you have to do. Kama kwa mfano ni pale mfano gari nataka fanya biashara. Let me give you the example. It's like you want to do business. Usha tembea mzuri na Mungu. You are already good with God. Unaambia Mungu mimi nataka nifanye biashara duka ya kwanza ushisha chakula. And you tell God I want to open this uh, store. I want to start selling. Na mimi naenda hii duka iendelee ni kwa mfanye biashara mkubwa international. And I want to I want my business to be so successful. I want to be international businessman. Okay. Faida ya Mungu sasa ni gani? What is God's interest? Kwanza kitu ya kwanza napasha jua moja ya kumi sio ndio faida ya Mungu. First thing you have to know uh, one of ten is not a, what God wants. Moja ya kumi ni unalipaka ndio tax kwa Mungu ya security ya vitu hivyo. That's why you just pay the tax for God for security. Kwa sababu government tunalipa kama ni 25% ya tax. For the government we pay 25%. Juu ina security vitu yako wana kuchungia kila kitu unalipaka tax. You you pay it for secure your things for the government. Na kwa Mungu kwa kuwa na kuprotect na fa kila kitu mkazi ya mikono yako unapashwa lipa mimi nataka hayo tax. And to God you have to pay that that money it's like tax. Kwa sababu kulipa hayo tax bila sema ata protect ili mwili mulaje asikuji kula mali ya and when you pay that the bible say he will protect your things so that the evil doesn't come and take it sadaka pia nayo ni lazima utoe sadaka na shukuru and when you give your offering that's okay you are thanking god okay zaidi ya bile bitu ya ni sawa sawa uko na business una kuwaka gharama ile yote moja ya kumi kutoa sadaka tia hiyo ndio gharama ya kazi yenu mko nafanya all those things you can put it as expenses with what faida inabaki Mungu iko wamo na pesa ngapi and the benefit that is there what is god is passing kwa mfano nakuwa napata faida ya elfu kumi ya dola kwa mwezi. let's do example you are getting 10000 like profit Mungu atapata ngapi what is god getting out ukimpa kidoga eh eh my friend usikani pata sana dola atakatala kufanya kitu anataka kufikisha unapenda kuwa mfanye biashara ulimwenguni utampa dola kumi mdola elfu kumi And when you give him little bit he will say no we are doing business together you that is not enough what i, I suppose Unaweza fata watumishi kuku hata unaweza fata junish utaweza enda hata kumaru kwa social media ufate watu wenye chafanya agano percent wanagawanaka na Mungu fata utaiona kuku hata nakamjaka mimi na Mungu napea taka Mungu 50% na ni sasa na kubaliana na mtu ti Anakuambia 50% napatia Mungu 50% mimi nabakia nani And if you see people who are really successful in life Follow them they will tell you we share me and God I give him 50% I take 50% Bwana Yesu asifiwe Amen, amen. Na pale watu njoo leo watu wakubwa sana And these people they are very big people Mimi nakupatia ni kumfanya shauku bila alifana agano jua kwa pastor jua kwa mujiz vitu viko mingi lakini kwa nakupatia tu ni mfano uelewe I just give you this an example there is people they do this as to be big pastors to do to be very big evangelist They do this kind of thing. You will never get anything just as a gift. You Lakini have to work for Mungu, NDZM, na ule namba tele kama ni mbuzi. Unasema ndio nipatia Mungu kila kitu. Hautawahi succeed mwa gano. And, and when you take at 10 or one of 10 out of your money and you give your offering you say I gave God already. No, that's not a Kuna wengine anafanya anaweza kupatia kwa mfano mimi nafanyaje? I'm going to give you an example like uh, what I do. Nikisema ni kwa kwa ngambo ya pesa, nikisema si no nifanye business na Mungu na mimi nataka pesa tukoe na gabana percent na Mungu. And when I I say I want to do business and I want to share with God na kamata kwanza muko uh, 20 25% m- mwake mwio mwile 1000 yenye tunapata faida after gharama zote kutoa moza ya 10 na kila kitu. It's an example like if we get 10000 Mwenyewe fukumi yetu ya faida in that 10000 of our profit ninakamata 25% napatia Mungu I take 25% I give Najua hii 25% yetu napasha nimalize mkazi ya Mungu yote and then I know this 25 percentages I have to finish it all doing God's work Mwakili yangu najua kai kuwaki pesa yangu In my mind I know already this is not mine Jo ile sar na sikia nono kuna mtu ana kuna kanisa anahitaji mchango ni mwa hiyo pesa nauliza Mungu Mungu ambaye saidele kanisa ni mwa hiyo pesa njoo na toa unapatia hiyo kanisa That's when I hear there is a church that needs help it's 
from that money that I will ask God and I will help that. Unaweza kwa familia kwa shida Mungu anakuambia chukua pesa zangu saidiele familia hapa. They will they must they might be a family that is suffering and God tell me in that my money my account give that. Ama anakuambia sponsorize mtoto fulani kwa yatima mali fulani waanze ba sponsor. Ile njo pe asiko haki za analomba muzake Mungu. That is the money that I do all these kind of things from God's money. Sasa ile ingine 75% na baki mimi na kamata yangu ya mie na familia yangu wenyewe na sana mimi ta enjoy na familia yangu ku biashara 25% na mie yangu. And then I take the 20, 75% I know this is mine 25 na mie. Na mimi na kana 25 sasa mungu. And then me I, I take 25% for yeah. me and my family. Yes. Amen. Kuna baki ya 50% ta ya kuwa na. And first. now we have 50% 50% this that is there. Na kamata mwe 50% na kamata 25% And then I take 25% I put to build again the business. Na ingine 25% ninaitia mu account in case kunaweza kuwa tuanze ingine anani business na Mungu tuko na tuko na na pesa mu account yetu. And then the 25% I put it in the saving account. Bwana Yesu asifiwe unaona aje Mungu anakuwaka unaona aje mimi ile ni mfano yangu ambaye mimi ninafanyaka kibinafsi. Nikusema nikikamata ile 25% napatia. Maana tuko sawa sawa 50% yangu, 50% ya Mungu. 25% napatia Mungu. 25% ni yangu mimi nina enjoy na familia yangu ninaweza kula ninaweza enda ma, 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 safari ninaweza fa ile ni yangu ya kukula 25% nyingine nina build nayo business manake ile business kwa mfano niko na rang niko naenda kurangua vitu vya dola uh, dola dola 1200 na kamata ninaongeza pale enda ta dola 1225 manake ninaenda na panua hiyo business na point ya ina nyingine 25% nina kamata ninaitia mu account ambao wakati Mungu anaweza leta tena ndani ya kichwa changu idea ya kufanya business tutakamata muile account yetu njo tunafanya nayo new business yetu mimi na Mungu ni hivyo mimi na kuwaka ninatumika na Mungu that's how i work with god na inafika kwa wakati yenye Mungu yeye unaweza kuwa mwe 25% unataka fanya hiyo business nyingine kwa mfano there's a time that you can have that 25% you want to do another business mwe business mko na 25% yenu mnachunga juu ya kufanya uh, ya ya ya, 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 ya business yenu and in that business you have 25% that you keep for the other business lakini pesa labda ni kidogo and maybe the money is not enough unaweza kutesta na support your business and uh, when god can tell you see in that my 25% support our business and sometimes he will tell you no don't put take this and then let us ama nakwambia kamata mie tia mnakosa ngapi mnakosa 100% angambia tani kamata mu yangu account 90% tia kwa kamata 10 tia pale tu endelesha ngine business and then he will say maybe you bring little bit i bring little bit let us boost our business unaona haje mnagablana mungu You can see how you share. Si kusema ile pesa ya Mungu Mungu anaenda kwa Mungu Mungu anaenda ikuruta ndio Mungu anaikula aje. And that money you don't say this is God's money it will go to God. Na no. kupitia roho wake na kuongoza kaaje hiyo pesa yake utaitumia kwa kusaidia watu mu dunia. But from his heart he will show you how you can use his money to help others in the world. Mpendwa, hiyo ndio anga. My friend that is confident. Agano angalia maisha yako na tembea na Mungu. The confident see how you work with God. Aya pili tafuta mwile kitu mwile mashere mtakubaliana hakikisha Mungu apate amu faida na wewe upate amu faida. And the second one in those uh, law that you will make make sure there is God's interest you there is your interest inside. Na ya tatu sasa sana tafunga juna na peleka alama. Ndio naweza peleka sasa kwa mchungaji alama ya kufunga agano. Ya. And the third one that's when you will bring a sign to cover that convenience. Na utapenda ukue mfanya biashara ulimwenguni kisha unaleta alama ya dola 100. No no na know, huko na uwezo wa kufanya alama. Inabidi alama nayo inalingana na ukubwa wa agano. And the 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 sign you don't want to be a big businessman you have money you want to take $100 no the covenant must be equal with the sign Ni kusema uwezo wa wa nguvu ukubwa wa agano na ndio ukubwa wa alama 
That means the big you make your covenant, that is the big you make your sign. Angalia Abraham, mungu ni muambia, nina kupatia hiki hivi na hivi, lakini nitatia ile nani mwili wa wanaume wote kukua na pita circumcision. Ono ni kitu kidogo ile alama, paka tunia muzima na tembea na ule. God said, I will give you this land, but I will give you this sign. On your body is not easy until now we go through that process. Angalia pia na ye noowe gisa alifanya. If you see Noah too. Unasani ya kitoko hile. That was not a small. Angalia pia Daudi kwa kusema mtengeneze mu kanisa. Akambatia ufa. Unani alama kitoko. If you see David to for God for him to accept to make the, 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 the temple. God gave him the kingness. Ni kusema pima kila kitoko. I want just to tell you to you have to wear everything. Pima, wa relation ya kuena mungu iko aje. You have to wear your relationship with God. Wende mu percentage wa wena mungu iko aje. You have to wear how is your your percentages with God. Kisha angeleki tu gani utaenda na kyo kanisa ni kuako ufunge na chuo. And then you see what you are going to give to God for you to cover your covenant. Kitu kwa mimi ni nakuja pa mpendo ni kukusaidia aje kufunga agano. What I want to just see here to help you is how you can make your covenant. Siyakia kuambia seme unilete miele pesa yako kia funga agano kwa angu wa pana. I don't tell you you bring your money come make the covenant. No, no. Trust him to me pastor wako. You have to trust someone. Sio kumupa pasta yo pesa nyo zafanya agano. It's not to give pasta that money you are making. Ni bile benye bilifunga ile yote agano nyo zafanya agano. All that process that make the company. Usisema hiko pasta juani nifundisha. Kwanza pasta. Aa. Weye acha kwanza chama lakini fanya agano ya. Don't say my pasta never tell me this. No it's for your own good. Kwa ushauri wangu mie. Peleka ile alama ya agano kwa pasta. Sita kwa saa mwina tumisha ambia. Mwineleta sa ile alama apana. Ile lada ni faida. Nataka nianze kula. And for my advice. If you want to do it. Take it to your pasta. Ile njo. Yangu na yaza kushawu. Can it be somewhere else too? Ya una ndiyo. Si juu ni naweza kuexplain ya. Kwa sababu kitu meneza kuambia. Unaweza mimi na kushawu ni kwaza. Natia mchunga jiwa. For the first one. I just advise you. I just advise you. You have to take it to your pastor. Number two. Unaweza kuwa labda au na kanisa. And the second one. Maybe you don't have a church. Na kina hindi kuna kanisa. It's okay to have a church. Na samia kuna kwenye nji ya kasa hili. Nja pika mungu bulaya. Nina choka na jini ya makanisa na ikala kunyumba kina mtafani fanya. You will say since I'm here I'm tired with your churches. Labda unaweza kutuambia tunakuelekeza. Maybe you can tell us we can guide you. Na suwezu katala kama unasikia labda roo yako inakupush utuletee ile alama. Suwezu kataza lakini mina kuambia aina faida yoyote ile. Faida ni ile mambo tatu ikuwe sawa sawa. Kisa unatilua mafuta ama kuombewa. Amen, amen. I can't say you don't have or I have to say you bring it. You have to follow the process and then they they have to bless you. Kwa sababu Anna walimuombea pia na Elia. Because Anna Elisha have Eli have to pray for. Inabidi kuwa wengine nguvu inaweza kuombea ama unaweza pele kwa mtumishi ama unaweza pele lakini inabidi tu utoe alama ya enyeko sawa sawa na iyo ngu na ile ukubwa wa agano upate baraka pia ili agano ipate kuvamia you have to take that convi that sign for you to have the blessing na kama au na ungali na kitu mimi naweza kuomba na kinyo naweza kutuambia sisi ke mimi na kuruhusu tuambie What I can ask you, you can tell us if you want. Kama ungali na shida ya kujua aje, eh, aje ntafanya ya gano juwe sana na kwa pale kumashiria. Mungu iko, mungu tampa nini, unaweza kutuambia, tutakusaidia mwila gano yako, tunako explaini, hivi njo naweza fanya ya gano. And what, what, what I can tell you if you need help, if you want to know the process, those laws, You can come and we can help you with all that process. Lakini kwa alama peleka kanisani haina shida. But for the sign take it to your church. Na kama roho itakuongoza upeleke ingine nafasi okay sawa mimi sina shida. Na kama unataka ufosi ukiwa nayo kwetu okay haina shida. If you want to take it somewhere else that's okay you it's for you to decide. Lakini ukituletea hiyo alama na kama uenezi hiyo makondisho hata kama ni mimi utanipa hiyo pesa mimi utanipa hiyo mbuzi nitaikula kwa bure na utasaidika. But if you give your your like a cow or money without 
following all the process that your money will go for nothing. Kwa sababu Juma anakuambia kama unaweza leta kwangu mimi naweza kuambia okay kitu ya kwanza nione kwanza agano yako kama una Juu sikia sema nao pasa ni kulaka pesa za bure. If you bring it to me I will tell you I want to see the process so that you don't say he ate my money for Lakini kwa mwisho ushauri mzuri nenda nayo kwa mchungaji wako ni mchungaji umu trust ni baba wako wa kiro umu trust mpatie ile alama ya agano itakusaidia But for the last I want to tell you trust your pastor take it to your pastor and that will help Mubarikiwe sana ili tulikuwa naongea juu kuhusu agano gisi unatengenezwa agano ni hivi agano natengenezwa na ni hivi agano itakusaidia agano ina nguvu na umesia gisi inaonesha nguvu mbili I want to tell you how you can do it the covenant is so powerful and you know how it make lot of things Na ninakuhakikishia ukiheshimu hii hakika haitakuwa unafanya leo agano na kesho unapata matunda it take more I promise if you follow this you will see the, the 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 results of it but you have to know it takes time mungu wa mbinguni awabariki amen Mu, okay god bless you so much acha tuombe amen bwana mungu liye juu tunasema asante kwa mafundisho hii kuhusu agano mm -hmm. kwa ndugu wote ambao wanatufuata ambao wote wanasikia na ule atakubali mungu kufanya agano akiheshimu hakika hizi sheria hakika mungu kwa sababu ulisema uko nyuma ya maneno yako ili kuitimiza ni neno lako limesema ni wewe ndio ulifanya agano na hili na umeshafana watumishi wengi ambao baba waliheshimu hizi sheria zako tatu na agano zabo zilifanyika bwana yeyote yule ata plani mzuri hii agano hakika bwana umeonekanie jina lako lipewe sifa mle na mlele yote Amen. Mbarikiwe sana na muone wakati. Tumisho wa Mungu mbele tukate nataka tu niulize hii question because inaweza saidia mwingine mwenye anafuata hii mahubiri. Yes. Napata tu hiyo question because unasikia hizi processes za kufanya agano. Sasa unasema kama mtu unalishafuata process yote mzuri, unafika mahali, unataka sasa kufanya ile sign. Yeah. Unaweza peleka kwa mchungaji wako na inabidi wakuombe. Mm. Sasa kama kuna kuja mtu mwenye anas, anaona hii agano mimi nataka labda kuituma mahali Afrika ha? kama kwa maybe kwa orphanage kutumia mambo wa, wa yatima huko na anatuma ile agano yake kule lakini hakuna mtu mwenye anamwombea hiyo process inaweza kuaje ya yeah, unajua kitu moja ninazoambia watu kwamba uh, to trust kwanza kupatia mchungaji okay. inabidi kwanza ku trust mm -hmm. kwa sababu ofanija ya kuwa mchungaji. Mm -hmm. Na ukiangalia alama zote zilikuwa pelekwa kwa Mungu. Hapa mm -hmm. ukiangalia alama zote, siko nafanywa kwa Mungu. Mungu ndio kuna pelekwa alama, ama Mungu ndio alipata alama, ama Mungu ndio kwa Mungu ndio kuna pelekwa alama. Mm -hmm. Lakini hivi nyewe nilikuwa napata nilikuwa na kwasa faida yangu mimi mwanadamu, Israeli naishi mzuri, inakuwa na mafaida, inakula, ni faida yetu ya kimwili. Lakini hivi vitu vitatu ilifo vipelekwe kwa Mungu. Yeah. Na kama niko naambia watu wapeleke kwa wachungaji ndio kwa tunaweza sema kwa mkristo kwa mkanisa ma trust mchungaji wake. Mhm. Mm Asa mchungaji hakuna kitu ni farsel. Mo shida sio ile farsel. Shida ni ile kinyo nafunga. Mm -hmm. Ni changu ninaweza kuonsea watu. Sipendi ni bulverse but nasema kisi Biblia ina inaenda inasema mm -hmm. ni kupeleka kwa mchunga, peleka kwa Elia. Mm -hmm. Aliyekuwa mchungaji kaki si analienda kwa Elia. Mm -hmm. Njoo kwenye kulisemeka ako neno na ile neno ukifata kwa maana ni yai ile neno ile ile alama haiko kwa elia maana kwa mungu yes ukikachoa solomon ni alama kwa mungu ni yeye mungu aone ile ile nywele ikuwe pale mm -hmm. na ukiangalia huko mwingine alitoa kitu kwa mungu ule anaambia ufanye maki kunaweza peleka kitu mahali kwa alama sijui kama yule mtu anaweza kwa convince kila baada peleke kwa offer na sasa depana gisi roho yake inamuongoza lakini kwa ushauri mimi naweza peana aende kwa mchungaji. Lakini kama yeye anaona aseme Mungu anamuongoza kwa sababu tushafunisha watu bisi kusikia sauti ya Mungu. Mungu anamuongoza pele kwa offer na chiko konvenki anaweza ifanye. Hiyo ni salimina. Lakini ushauri mzuri peleka kwa, kwa mchungaji mchunga wako akuombe yes. akubariki. Yes. Barikiwa sana. Amen. Amen.